What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels, and we are going to be checking out the barn find, uh, the actual car, and driving it around, maybe building it up even, uh, in this episode. So we're going to go straight to barn finds, and scroll over to the 1932 Ford Deluxe 5 Window Coupe, which I'm sure that there are going to be a ton of customization options for this. When this thing came out, a brand new one, and sent you back a cool 500 bucks. Yep. <laughs> Ever feel like maybe you were born in the wrong year? All right, so let's go ahead and change the camera so we can walk around it a little bit. This thing is super classy, but I guarantee that we'll be able to turn it into a hot rod. So let's see. They want us to collect the 356A Speedster as well. <clears throat> oh, wow. God. Sorry about that. Uh, but no, they want us to collect that as well. I'm just going to get in the 32 Ford right now. I'm going to see what customization options we have. Maybe even build it into something. Let's see, uh, I'll go ahead and go straight to upgrades. Two body kit presets. First, oh, okay, sweet. And then, 32, okay, so it, it changes kind of like the hood options, let's see. Um, we can go with a hood, or we can go, we can go no hood, and side pipes, and crazy, basically. God, those engines are mounted so low. They really, really are. I never realized how low those engines were mounted. That's pretty cool, actually, how low how low they're mounted. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and build it up. I was going to say let's build it up ourselves, but I want to go ahead and go with this preset. Because is that... Wait, if that's a preset for A-Class, is the other one a preset for S-Class? Let's see. Is this a preset for S-Class? No, they're both preset for A-Class. Okay, so now, all we gotta do is do a couple of little custom touches of our own, and she'll be ready to go. Tire compound, did it leave? Okay, put it on streets. I need to put it on race tires, just for me. Uh, ooh, Hot Wheels race tires, yes. But, in keeping with, let's see, I'm sure it upgraded a few things in the engine. So let's see if we can dial it. Well, no, you know what? Let's not. Let's, let's build it up to S. And let's just see what it'll do. What it'll do in S1, because I'm sure it didn't max it out. Or at least I don't think it maxed it out. God, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna be a bit concerned if I go in and find that they maxed it all the way out. Cams are stock still, so we will race cams, race valve train. Right, it's got a race block already. Uh, race pistons and compression we can do. Oil and cooling we can do, and a flywheel. Wow, they didn't do the race flywheel. That's kind of surprising. Uh, let's make sure everything in the grip side is up to, like, up to par. 245s up front, and what's it got in the back right now? 295, so that's the max you can go. And now wheels. Wheels are, like, I don't really like those flat face, like, the whole shots, they're okay, but I don't really like them. Just my personal preference, I don't really like them. So... I'm going to see how some more modern wheels actually look on this car. And I know there's going to be some people that are like, oh my god, you're going to ruin it. You can't put modern wheels on a car like that. And I'm like, number one, I feel like it's good to think outside the box, especially with cars like this. You know, if you stick with just the classic style and just the classic style only, then everybody's hot rod is going to look the same. You know what I mean? Everybody's hot rod is going to look the same if you do that. So um, I'm really interested in seeing how it looks with some more modern style wheels. In fact, those look pretty good. Those look really good. Oh my god. Those look amazing. What size are they? They're 18s. Let's put 19. Well, you know what? Let's put 20s in the back and 19s up front. So we've got a little stagger going on. And dude, that actually looks really good. I'm I'm pleased with that. Arrow and appearance now. Uh race front bumper. I mean, no, nah, that that doesn't really look good. Sorry, but it doesn't. Oh, if you want the wing, you gotta put the, the, like, you gotta put the normal top on. I'm gonna leave the chop top. That's just my personal preference. And do we have any engine swap out? Good God, we can do whatever we want here. We can twin turbo it. We can supercharge it. We can do a drivetrain conversion. Oh, it's already swapped to a modern 5.2 liter V8. So that means we can make it all-wheel drive, but does that even keep, that keeps it in S-Class. Holy crap. I kind of want to keep it rear drive though. Let's do let's do twins and let's see how that responds because with twin turbos instead of like a positive displacement supercharger with a supercharger we're going to get so much wheel spin off the line it's going to be like 
useless. Alright, what does that put us at for power? That puts us at 1,074 horsepower and 827 foot-pounds of torque. Now, we've been in this boat of, of grip uh, before, and the thing is, I might want to try... But, well, let me go ahead and install the setup. I'll go and try it out. And then, we'll, like, if it's completely unusable, we'll come back and all-wheel drive swap it, I think. Like, if it's completely 100% unusable and it, like, spins all the way up to 6th gear, then we may come and, and do some driveline mods. But until then, we're going to see how it actually responds. Oh, it revs to freaking 9, and it sounds nuts doing it. Okay, this is a drift car. That's all this is. Oh my god. That's all this is. Yep, this is not a race car. This is a drift car. Jeez, okay, I might just want to... Uh, I'm going to try and see how much of the track I can drift now. Oh god. Jeez, the angle it can recover from is crazy. Like, normally cars will not recover from this much angle. It's been... Aw, oh, come on, bro. This kind of makes me not want to try it in a race, though, just because of the fact that it's, like... Uh, it's it's going to be so sketchy, and it won't be able to put down any power. God, this really makes me wish that there was more, um... Like, a wider rear tire available for it. If there was, I would be throwing it at this car right now. On the tight sections, it's really hard to keep it out of the wall, too, if you're going fast, because it's it's really sketchy. 1932, I'm going to call this thing like the Sketch 32, because that's what it is. Dare I do a race? Good God. All right, let's see what happens. Earn 100,000 skill points. Well, we could definitely do that. The only problem is we just got to make sure we win. Uh, you know what? Instead, let's use something that I... What about the RJ Pro Truck? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to try the RJ Pro Truck just out of sheer curiosity. Because this thing was super OP in the main game. And I wonder if it'll be the same uh, level of OP out here. Because with so much power, all-wheel drive, and the ability to just pull out of corners faster than almost any other car in the game, I mean, like, you can just lean on the power constantly in this truck. And that's the thing is it never yells at you for it either. It just literally, um, it, it just does every single freaking thing you, you, you wanted it to do. And it's like, and, and not even in the way of, like, it's, it's... Not even as in, like, it's just, like, a weird way. It just does it so easily. See, gets out of the hole like a rocket ship. And handles. We're already on everybody's, like, bumpers. Oh, God. Oh, maybe it doesn't handle as well as I thought. But I'll tell you one thing. There is not a vehicle anywhere else that takes bumps quite like this one. Draft. Oh, well, I was in the draft for a minute. Not quite anymore, but... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! There she goes! What? Okay, maybe this was the wrong choice. What? They all stopped! That makes no sense! Uh-oh, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. You know what? Maybe we want a different car. Maybe we want a different car. I think the um, the hot rod definitely was not a, like it wasn't going to be the best choice. But at the same time, this wasn't going to be the best choice either. I'm gonna actually. I think I'm gonna try the trusty. Um, well, first of all, I'm gonna stunt swap this thing. Let's see. Split jump. That's fine. And then stunt two will be oh stunt two will be will be waves, or well wait is it just a single stunt? Oh, it's a single stunt. Oh, let's make it waves then. Wait, no, create yes please thank you. All right, awesome. So, grab our huracan because the huracan did great the last time we used it. Did absolutely great. So, uh, the huracan might be our 
S class um, weapon uh, for a while going for. Well, no, I don't know about for a while because we won't really be in S one class much longer. We'll be into S two class before we know it, which means we'll be into things like the Zonda and just races that are going to be nutty difficult. I love how I put Jeep Guy in the trail cat. That's brilliant. Oh, on the inside of the 4 GT, or well, I was for a bit anyway. Oh my god, he went off. Now, stay in it. Catching up little by little. Checking behind me real quick to see where that 4 GT was. Go, 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 go. We've already got, like, 40,000 skill points. I don't think this challenge is going to be all that hard, frankly. There we go. There we go. Oh, my God. Avoid the wall, please. Oh, my God. All right. I was like, save the points. Please save the points. Here's the wave section. Whoop. Oh, my God. If you can keep your car in a straight line over the waves, it's a great way to rack up points. If you can't, it can be, like, your downfall. We got three laps here. Oh, my God. We're going to, we're gonna like, destroy that 100,000 target. We've already almost got it in the first lap. Oh, I'm going to jump over you, sir. Oh, yes. Ha! He had to take the lower track. That's brilliant. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, crap. Screwed that up. I thought we were jumping into the turn. That's when these jumps can sometimes be a little bit of an illusion. Or just the illusion of looking further ahead than you have to. Oh, God. All right. Taking out a little bit of stuff on the corner. No big deal. It's just to show me where my apex is, right, bro? Track out, bro. Hard down. Oh my god, he's catching up real quick here. Oh, and then I'm losing him again. Yep. Alright, loop time. Come on. Tried to, like, look at it from the side. That wasn't the best idea. Kind of wanted to be all cinematic and stuff, you know? When, like, that's not really the best way to go about winning. Oh crap. Oh crap. Yeah, that's not good. Damn it, there he is. Hopefully this will trip him up a little bit. There's our challenge completed. Oh, it, dude, it tripped him up so much. Okay, perfect. And we're only on the second lap. All we gotta do is run a clean final lap, and we'll have this in the bag. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Remember to go straight off of this one. Get a little slide out of it. I was, I, I slammed on the brakes when I landed, though, because I was worried I was going to go into the wall. Run wide and turn back in. Dude, there she is. All right, into sixth, one last time. One last time over this, I think these are called Hyperloops. I want to say they are, but I'm not 100% sure. No big deal, though, because we only have to go through this loop once more. Oh my god, going through that in first person is amazing. So roller coaster. They really did a great job, I think, of capturing the roller coaster style vibe of these tracks. Damn it. That corner is actually really deceiving. You think it's banked enough to take it with a lot of extra speed, but it's actually kind of not. Perfect. Oh, kangaroo bonus. Hell yeah. This you can stay on the floor through. Oh, you could totally stay on the floor through this. I haven't done a race in a while where we obliterated the competition this bad. Like, that's just total obliteration right there.
Stay straight ahead. Get on the brakes. Hard down, still hard down on the throttle. Flat foot shifting and across the line. In first, well ahead of everybody else. Well ahead. Oh man, that, that, was, that was legit. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Oh my god, hell yeah. Dude, we're ranking up like crazy. We're getting bonuses like crazy. It's been a long time since I've seen a Horizon Edition car in that in that wheel spin, though. It's one and two and three. Hell yeah. 47 out of 60. Dude, this is it's really actually really getting close now to some really fast cars. Uh, but let's see. Let's do one more thing in this episode real quick. Let's try and get zero G speed zone. Ooh, that'll be fun. Let me back up, get a little bit of speed. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, my God. Are we completely stuck or can we back up? We're going to have to rewind. Oh, that's bad. That's terrible. All right, stopping, stopping, stopping. Woo! Don't hit me, bruh. All right, let's get this speed zone done. Try to get three on it. Three medals. Really, bro? Okay, come on. That's the worst when you're doing a speed zone is when you run into somebody. Or somebody runs into you. Eh, well, this will give us an opportunity to practice it. Uh-oh. Damn it. Well, glad that was a practice one then. You have arrived at your destination. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Stopping here. And I'm turning around and I'm going back the other way. Using that booster to my advantage and getting three medals on it. Alright, we ended at like 160. Go, 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 go. Oh, that'll be three. I guarantee. I hope. It's like, come on. That should be three. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Get it done. There's actually a credits dude up here, too. Oh, that's too close to the edge. Oh, my God. What the... Okay. I am astounded that that was just a thing. That that was just possible. Holy crap, I am astounded that what we just did actually was, like, possible. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later.